There are three chords that every guitar player should learn first. They build connections between your brain and fingers passively, and I'm gonna teach them to you right now. Welcome back, I'm Jake with Guitar Gym Pro. If you're new here, subscribe for more songs, skills, and fun. Let's get into it. Our first chord is called D sus. S-U-S stands for suspended. We're gonna start by putting our pinky finger on third fret of the thinnest string, our ring finger on third fret of the second string, and our pointer finger on second fret of the third string. This is gonna be a four string chord, so we're gonna strum strings four, three, two, and one, the four closest to the ground. And that's it. That's our D sus chord. Now, the magic in this is that for our other two chords, the ring finger and pinky, our weakest two fingers, stay put. We don't move them. They're just sitting there. But your brain is having to tell them to sit there, thus passively building that connection. Now, once you learn these three chords, you'll need some next steps. And I wanna invite you to join my free community, Gateway to Guitar. I've got a full course on there teaching you how to play a full song, building a foundation on guitar. You get to do it with other awesome people, but I'll leave a link for that in the description. Let's keep going. Our next chord is C, as in cat, sus, stands for suspended, C sus. So what we're gonna do is lift up our pointer finger. Remember, we want our ring finger and pinky to stay exactly where they are. We're gonna take our middle finger and we're gonna reach across the guitar to third fret of the fifth string. Now this C sus is a five string chord. We're gonna strum the five strings closest to the ground. Now our third and final chord is called G5. To make this chord, we're gonna move our middle finger to third fret of the sixth string. And now it's a six string chord, G5. And we can just cycle through these chords. D sus, C sus, G5 all while getting that awesome passive workout in our weakest two fingers. Now remember, if you need some next steps, follow the link in the description to join my free course and community, Gateway to Guitar. I'll be there to walk with you every step of your guitar journey. If you're ready to use these three chords in your first full guitar lesson, check out this video right here.